You've obviously seen the Access Hollywood video that came out of Donald Trump talking in vulgar terms about women. Uh, what was your reaction when you first saw that video? Well, I have, in my younger days, I was an athlete. Football, baseball, of course I was in a, a lot of raunchy gyms when I was fighting. And, um, you know, we, no one talked that way, no one. You'd, you'd be picking a fight with somebody, you know. That stuff left us in elementary school when you didn't understand what life was all about. We have now ten women that we know of that have come forward that he sexually assaulted them. Uh, you know, this is a crime. You think he's committed a crime? I don't know. You know, it, you have to have somebody file a complaint. Uh, you know, it's, you can't do it without someone having done something. These are, these are people, who, you know, these are people who are trapped. They are with this man in public places and, and like an airplane. Puts his hand under somebody's skirt in an airplane. Uh, the woman moves her seat. Uh, I, just, I mean, I, for me, I can't understand. I don't know about a crime, but it is kind of a sickness. Now, in addition to suggesting that Donald Trump may have committed a crime, Donald uh, Harry Reid also criticizing Donald Trump's claims of election rigging, attacking Republican leaders as well. Last few days, Donald Trump uh, has talked about this election being rigged. He talked about voter fraud being rampant. Uh, what is your response to that? I've always felt that everything we can do to get people to vote, we should do it. He obviously is in a different school than I am. He wants people not to vote. I just think it's so untoward for him to try to f scare people into the elections that are rigged. I will listen to an interview today. One of the world's leading experts from Ohio State University, a professor there, said, you can't rig an election. It's, you know, we have 50 different elections uh, run by states. It, we're, we have, it, we're not centralized. It just can't be done. It's just make-believe, just like a lot of the stuff that Donald Trump says.